NZXT's cam. Monitor your computer while playing games. Booyah! Nothing will escape. Damn, Priest. Back at it again with a new video. That's right, guys. How you doing? My name is Priest. Welcome to this video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to stream on Twitch. That TV using OBS. Uh, so this is the updated version. A lot of you guys are having problems, so I'm tr gonna try to show you what's up. So this is the latest version of OBS. OBS Classic 0.657, and that's the current one I'm using over here, as you can see, 64-bit version. So let me show you what's up. So what I did here is I created my Twitch TV account. You can click right here uh, in the corner up there, and you should see my previous video where I explain how to create the account. So I'm not gonna do that right now because I already have a video. So you can watch it if you wanna see how it's done. So anyways, I'm gonna open up my Twitch TV account, gonna click dashboard, and let's open up OBS. Here is the OBS. So, first thing you guys wanna do is click profile, click new. And let's name this profile, I'm gonna name it uh, tutorial stream 1. Okay. So, let's go ahead, uh, open up settings, make sure tutorial 1 uh, stream selected. Go to encoding, make sure you select all of this, just copy what I did. So, uh, let me explain to you guys really quick what this bitrate thing is. This is essentially your internet speed. So, what you want to do is open up speed test. Go down here under speed measurement and make sure you pick kilobits and click save. And then test your internet speed. The internet speed test will show you your speed in kilobits. So, you have these big numbers. See how I have 14,000. So, uh, this is my download speed. So, you, you will not use your download speed for streaming. What you will use is your upload speed for streaming. So, this is my download and my upload speed. I'm just gonna round up my upload speed to 1000. So, basically, this is what we have. Now, you gotta do the math. You gotta calculate how much you can use. Okay, so let me explain to you guys. When you play games online, you will have to use your download and upload speed to play the game. So, you cannot use your full upload speed. This is my full upload speed, 1000. So, if I'm playing online game, I cannot use my full upload speed because I'm gonna lag in the game. So, this is what I suggest you guys to do. Basically, take your upload speed, so the, the, the number you got. I got 1000, so I'm gonna take 300 away from it and I'm gonna put that number in. So, 700. 700, I will say it's a minimum for streaming in 360p quality. So your quality is gonna be like decent, okay? But just have in mind, nobody really wants to watch the bad quality streams. So anyways, the minimum number you can put in here is 700. The maximum number you can put in here is 3500. 700 is the lowest quality. 3500 is the highest ultra big quality, okay? The number you got here, I, I got 1000. You're gonna take 700 away from it if you are playing online game. If you are playing offline game, so game that's on your computer, you can put in the number you got. So we got 998. I'm just gonna put in 900, 950. Fuck it. So basically, don't go over this number, okay? Do not go over this number if you play offline game. If you play online game, take 300 away from this. If you guys have huge upload speeds, like some people have over 4000 and even higher, just make sure you put in 3500. That's the, that's the max, maximum number you can use anyways, so you do not have to go above it, okay? So, let's move on. You can copy all my settings. Here is bitrate again for the audio. The higher you go, the better quality you will have. So, I just leave it here. This is okay quality. Broadcast... Okay, let's click yes. Save that. Broadcast settings. Click that tab. Make sure live streaming is selected. Go to uh, streaming services. Pick Twitch. And uh, you're gonna get a bunch of warnings down here. Don't bother yourself with that right now. Get your stream key. So I understand. Copy it. Double click, copy it. Make sure there are no spaces, okay? Paste it over here. Right click, paste. Uh, now, over here, let's click apply first. Now we have a bunch of settings we have to change. Video settings. Set base resolution to an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. So let's go to our video. And uh, let's put it the uh, resolution 1280 by 720. So it says 16 by 9 right now. Let's click apply. Let's go back to uh, broadcast settings. Now we have advanced settings recommended uh, this encoding stuff. So let's go to advanced. There's also set a keyframe interval of 2. So let's go to advanced. And here's the keyframe interval. Let's set it number 2. And it said something about 
x24 i freaking forgot oh this thing over here let's put it to super fast and apply so if we go back to broadcast settings oh recommended changing to main source okay i don't even know that just encoding profile setting to main okay so if we go back to broadcast settings there are no more warnings uh you might get different warnings so just follow what they say and you should be okay if you don't know what you should be doing just go google it let's go to video over here we have everything set up you can put it to 60 frames per second if you want to but do know you will have to have better sp internet speed for this i think so let's go to audio make sure your audio devices are selected i'm gonna select my headphones and i'm gonna select my microphone and click apply and that's pretty much it you can set hotkeys you have a bunch of stuff over here this is what i use you can copy mine stuff and that's it for now let's click ok and we are basically ready to go now what we want to do is first we have to create a scene what we're going to show to our viewers okay so let's right click over here in the empty space click add scene and i'm going to call it tutorial scene okay so now uh, over here we have to add source now that we have our scene so basically our scenery is set so what's our source what are we going to show to our viewers so i'm just gonna for the sake of this video i'm gonna show you guys the solitaire as i did in previous videos so let me explain what you have to do open up the game please ma make sure you got the game open first then go to sources right click add and then go to game capture and name your game capture thing whatever it is clicks i'm just gonna name it solitaire and over here under application we select the solitaire make sure you click refresh if it's if there's nothing on the list solitaire okay okay nothing's showing up yet now we click start streaming you can also click preview stream if you want to so as you can see everything is black we just this is a preview only so let's first see what do we have here over here we have uh, our status bar basically it's telling us what's happening this is how long we've been streaming uh, this is how many frames we dropped. That's basically, uh, if you're dropping frames, that means you are lagging, okay? This is how many frames per second we have. And over here, we have our internet speed. If this uh, box is green, that means everything is okay. If it gets yellow, you should be careful. Your internet is getting slower. And if it gets red, you are fucked. So make sure it stays green. So now we basically click on solitaire. And we wait and it should show up on the screen. So you can see it just showed up. If I close it, it disappears. So I gotta open it again. If I open it up again, make sure you click on it, okay? So select it and wait a little bit. Make sure, you know, play the game a little bit and it should show up here. Okay, let me show you guys with League of Legends, for example. Okay, so here we have League of Legends open. Now, with League of Legends, it's a little bit different. League of Legends has a client and it has a game. So you have two sources you gotta put in. So, let's remove Solitaire. Right click, remove. Yes. Now right click add and we're gonna add a uh, game capture. We're gonna name it uh, League of Legends LOL client. Hit OK. And now under here it says LOL client PvP client net whatever. Refresh it if in, if in case there's nothing here. Click OK. And let's preview the stream. I don't know why is this screwed. So we gotta we gotta click on the client, okay? We gotta open up the client and if we go back you should see it right there. Here it is. So uh well, let me see if I can show you somehow the screen. I can't really. That's terrible. But anyways, as you can see, it's working. See how the but buttons are glowing. Stuff is happening. That's the client. Now we have to add another source for the game. So let's right click add source. Let's call it League of Legends game. And we're going to right click here. Oh, we actually have to go to game into the game first. So let's click play. Okay. Once we get into the game, simply alt tab to OBS. And make sure you have a League of Legends game selected. Under sources, right click add game capture. Name it League of Legends game. And make sure you select League of Legends. Uh, refresh. League of Legends, League of Legends TM client. Hit OK. And your game should automatically show up. As you can see right here. So let's, let's make Rengar go like to mid lane. Hold on. Rengar, follow that shit, man. Alright, so as you can see, it's working, see? It's a little bit laggy when you preview it like this, but that's how it looks like. Okay, now let's uh, start our stream, but since this is online game, League of Legends, as I said, we gotta go back to broadcast settings, I'm sorry, encoding, and we gotta take away uh, 300, so hit OK. And now let's hit the stream button. 
So, here we are streaming right now, guys. You can uh, actually... I think I'll leave it on the Twitch so you can see it. So, as you can see, the button, this square right now is green. And uh, I'm not sure if it's going to turn yellow. Hopefully not. So, uh, let's click again to make Rengar go, like, somewhere. Go, Rengar. Move your ass. And here we have it. Basically, we're streaming right now. We're playing the game. So, I'm going to leave the Twitch link of this Twitch that I'm streaming on right now. So, you guys will be able to preview this stream. You can see the quality that's been, you know, out there stuff. Alright, guys. So, there you have it. That's how you can stream with OBS. Make sure you always preview your stream before you do anything. So, you can see everything is working, okay? You can add a bunch of other stuff. You can add overlays. You can add uh, ads. You can add, like, like, chat. You can... Everything donations whatever the hell happens like everybody else is doing just make sure you google it So that's it guys for this video. Thank you for watching if you enjoyed it Don't forget to rate the video share the video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. That's it guys priest out